All right, I'm Tim Bradner. Welcome to Capital Views. Karen Rayfeld, State Budget Director, is with us today. Karen, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, Karen, the state budget is the constitutionally required task for the legislature to do every year. And uh, it seems like it's, it's almost a year-long process. You finish one budget, the governor signs it, things, you start cranking on another one. I mean, how does the project, how, how does it really work? Well, you're absolutely correct. I think that the budget is the most important thing the legislature does. It is their constitutional obligation and responsibility. And it is a year-round job. We, um, for example, this past year, we signed a budget the 21st of May. It takes effect the, the 1st of July. And we're immediately into the budget planning for the next cycle. So um, our, our responsibility is to release a budget to the public by the 15th of December annually. And that's then the budget that the legislature takes up when they come into session. Uh, it takes many months and involves all of our 14 state departments and the university and the legislature and the court system to put our budget package together for the annual review that takes place during the legislative session. So at the same time in December, I understand the state financial report comes out, and that's different. That's for that's the year prior. True. That, is, is that, that would be the audited financial statements for the state of Alaska. So for example, fiscal year uh, 13 ended June 30 of last year. So that is the audited financial statement for fiscal year FY13. We're currently in fiscal year 14, and then the budget before the legislature is for 15. So just about the time we're rolling out our budget, for the next fiscal year, we're just closing out the books on the previous fiscal year. So when the books are closed out, those are the actual dollars that are spent. So that's audited figures. And if somebody's interested, they can go and find it. They can see that's actually correct. what happened. That's correct. It's on, their, on the Department of Administration Division of Finance's website. So you can see those numbers. And they do, the Division of Legislative Audit works on uh, the single audit requirements also for the federal compliance piece. So it's a, it's a full-fledged audit of the state of Alaska's books. So that comes out in December, and then it's uh, legislature convenes, the budget's introduced. Uh, there are also budget amendments. And, right. And all supplemental budgets. What, what are those? The, um, the statutes require that we submit our supplemental request for the current fiscal year for unforeseen circumstances um, by the 15th day. So this year we have to submit our supplemental by the 4th of February. And then the um, statute also says if we have amendments to the budget that we have proposed to bring them forward on the 30th day of the session. So that's February 19th this year. So what sorts of things would be in supplemental? Well, for example, um, fire suppression or disaster relief, those are typically the largest components of our supplemental bill, um, things that we certainly cannot foresee how much fire suppression uh, will occur either in the spring or the fall. And then also with disasters, flooding, um, where those may occur, wind, and how much um, the federal government may participate in paying for some of those emergency situations and how much the state of Alaska will be required to pay. So we bring those forward in, in, a, in a state agency's budget if there's something that occurs that's um, um, uh, of an emergency nature that was not anticipated, we can bring those forward for the legislature to consider. And that, of course, will change the funding level for the current year. Do you have a sense now, Karen, of what the supplemental for FY? 14 would be? We're, we're working on that right now, and we do know that the, um, that the supplemental, specifically for fire suppression and disaster relief, will be the largest component of that. But that will be out very soon. It's almost February. So we just had a, a bad fire year last year. Or we did, did we? Yeah. We, we? You know, it seems like the past few years we have had significant fire. Um, and of course, depending on the, the, you know, we have federal lands, state lands, and of course the, the federal government will participate with us in fighting fires on federal lands and state lands. So it's a combination of funding that will help pay for those costs. Just out of curiosity, who pays uh, for fire suppression on, on private lands? Well, if, you're, if we're helping to protect life and property, the state of Alaska will, will assist with that. But um, for the most part, that we're where those have occurred have been, and, it, and then of course in insurance settlements if there are some um, yeah. damage of, of property. But the state of Alaska does um, contribute a great deal to fire suppression. So the, there are a bunch of amendments that come in. The whole process seems to be confusing sometimes. Yes. Um, there are, there are uh, 
do we have still have things like called fast track and slow track supplementals? How does how does that work? Um, we have in in some years we've put something forward because it was very time sensitive. An appropriation would need to be approved by the legislature in order for something specific to happen. The reality is that in a ninety day session things happen pretty quickly. Um, supplementals are very rarely uh, approved early, although they can be. So for the most part we put forward one bill, um, supplemental bill, and uh, eventually it gets rolled into a different appropriation bill, usually the capital bill at the end of the session. Yeah. So those would be, uh, so we don't have two, sometimes we'll have two separate supplemental appropriations bills, but usually just one in, the, yes. in recent years. Yes. Yeah. And unless there was something really um, unique or unusual that we needed to address separately, then we would bring forward a special appropriation. Uh, then, you know, the legislature passes the budget, the governor has how many days to veto, to do his vetoes? If, uh, they, if they pass it, while well, they're still in session, there's 15 days. If the session has adjourned, it's 20 days um, to, to act on the bill. That's when the governor receives it. So uh, the session may end and we may not receive the, the appropriation bills for several weeks afterwards. So it's from, from whenever we officially receive the bill 20 days, and I think that excludes Sundays. Yeah. Well, Karen, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Uh, Tim Bradner, Capital Views, thank you.